Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we're going to be going over the bounty event. I'll give you the fastest team that you can use to get through the entire thing. Uh, give me a moment though so I can set up the stream. Deleting the reminder so people aren't stuck over there. The one or two people that are over there, maybe. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a thumbnail today, but we will do chapters. Chapters. Seen a lot of good uh, comments of people saying they appreciate the chapters. Got to make this kind of quick today. We got the chat-a-thon tomorrow morning starting at 5 a.m. EST. Um, I'm just hoping for a solid solid one you know if you can get there early that'd be great and uh we don't have to go forever and ever and ever but a nice solid one let's get back back to it not that we ever failed or anything but i need to get like a nice one under my belt so and it doesn't have to be forever and ever and ever we don't need to go nine hours but it'd be cool if we went like a usual it'd be cool we need like a double like i've been saying like the baseball analogy we, we this, this month has been great and all we need is just like a solid chat a thon to, to cap it. Alright, I got the first chapter. Save. Let's do the playlists. If you're ever looking for a live stream, it should be on the Gems of War live streams playlist. Or the Gems of War playlist. Okay. I've had people asking questions about certain, like, hey, where's a what's a mythic tier list? And hey, like questions like what class tier list i have videos on that all you got to do is go to my channel and search whatever you're looking for and i probably have a video on it you're probably going to want to go to my channel first and then search for my channel because you know there's 50,000 other videos out there and um you know if you just search in the regular youtube search bar you're probably not going to find me because i get buried but um you know at least type cine cool first before you type whatever like that'll help But sometimes I like, you know, I'll answer a question with a video. Like, hey, there's a video on it because in the video I'm thinking about that. Maybe I wrote a bunch of stuff down. I was researching it. Like, if I just answer, I can answer your question. But you could also watch a 15-minute video, 30-minute video that I was totally thinking about that at the time when I put out the video. Uh, I think we're good. I might make a thumbnail later. Let me get ready for the chat. I see Mark. I see that's awesome, Al. How's it going? Well, let's uh, hit that like button and get some more people in here. Like I was saying yesterday, I don't think you really need a bounty video anymore. I know it's self-sabotaging, but, you know, a live stream, I feel live streams would be a better for, like, bounty, for vault event, for, like, faction events and stuff like that. I think you're better off watching a live stream than watching, like, a pre-recorded video because that's stuff we just keep having over and over and over and over. And are you, you're watching the same video, like, over and over and over and over. And I think it's cooler to, like, hang out with somebody, ask a couple questions here and there, like, you already know the team pretty much. It's kind of weird if you have to watch the same... <laughs> Like, this is a all-seeing eye faction of it today. I'm going to watch the video. And then next week, we have it again. Do you need to watch it again? And then we have it again a month later. Do you need to watch it again? Like, I don't know. I've been thinking about that lately. Like, I always, I always like, whenever it's a vault event weekend or an arena weekend or even, like, a bounty weekend, I always felt, like, weird putting out a video because I'm like, it's not going to, nothing's really going to change. It's kind of like the same thing over and over and over. And I feel like I'm putting out the same video. You know what I'm saying? Like, the smart ones realize, and they're like, ah, I don't even. But I feel like live streams are better for those kind of events. Like, maybe, like, the journey event early in the week. You want, like, a short 5 to 10 minute video for the teams because it's a different thing that we've... It's different. But the bounty, you know how it goes. You put the bounty captain on, you use the same team. Anyway, self-sabotaging again here. Uh... We hitting that like? I'm hitting that like. Let's go. There it is. I need to put a um pinned message about the chatathon. So let me do that. And then we'll get off to the races here. Bounty, use troops with the bounty hunter trait to multiply your points. Get double multipliers on this event's bounty captain caribou. Chatathon Saturday. Tomorrow. 
5 a.m. EST. There. I'll pin that in a second. All right, let's get, let's go. Let's play the game. I think I'm ready. All right, so yeah, we got Al, we got Mark, we got Ruben. Good morning, hello, good morning. All right, let's do this thing. Grab your tribute. One of the best things you could do in the game is set a timer and grab your tribute every hour. If you can do that, you're heads and shoulders above a bunch of other people. Because not everybody does that. I don't do it, and I'm a high-end player. I need to start doing that. Bad. Let's grab this mail. Yeah, yeah. Any cool offers? Not really. And it's a single-player event. Bounty. So we need to get our bounty troop, and then we need to fully ascend it. That's the first step. So go to the shop. All right, so the strategy is using Tesla or Queen Beatrix or the Red Macacle, something like that. Okay, Black Manacles, if you're a super low-level player and you have access to nothing else, Black Manacles even. But that's like the worst worst case scenario i think tesla is the best i think if you have red macaco that might be second best queen beatrix if you just don't have either one of those two because queen beatrix you can get in the underworld you gotta be like you only have to be like early mid game to get queen beatrix maybe late early game for queen beatrix like everybody should have queen beatrix so if you can't if you don't have tesla or red macaco it's queen beatrix like, put that on your team. Put one of those three on your team. Don't put all three on your team, but put one of those three on your team. Tesla, Red Macaco, or Queen Beatrix. Start there. Then the Bounty Captain. You get the Bounty Captain right here in the shop. You want to get it fully ascended? Throw that on your team. And then you just need two more Bounty Troops. Usually it's something like Ogris, Tigraki, Corpse Mare, Excavator. Um, one of those. I usually go with Ogris, 100%. So that we got three things. We got our Tesla or Tesla like. We got our bounty captain, which has to be the caribou. And then you got your Ogress. I feel like that's Ogress is the best option for like mana generation for a bounty team. Whatever you want to put for your fourth thing. Sometimes I do Tigraki, sometimes I do Corpse Mare, sometimes I do something else. Doesn't really matter as long as it's a bounty troop. And you can buy up to tier five. I know that's kind of expensive, but what do we got? 90, 210, 410, <clears throat> something like seven, 700 gems. And you cannot, you don't have to worry about it. You can use that team the entire time. You can use Tesla the entire time, one shots. Brr, brr, brr. You don't have to poke at it for, you know, five minutes of battle. You can just go, brr, 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 go through the bounty with Tesla. Cast Ogres, get up Tesla, cast Tesla, win. Later on, when you get to like the 15, 16, 17, 18, you might have to cast her twice, but that's way better than casting like Tigraki and Corpse Mare eight times. So it's 700 gems if you just do not want to worry about it at all. You just want to use Tesla the entire time. You don't want to think about it. If you want to like save 300 gems, you could do tier four, and then you can go through Friday with the Tesla. And then you got to start thinking about using maybe four bounty troops. Once you get into Saturday, there's still not like a super defined point of time where you stop using Tesla. Um, you know, I've done it before where I stopped on Sunday and it worked. I've done it before where I stopped on Saturday and it worked. And it's kind of like a faction event on a Tuesday. Okay, so sometimes you can get a faction event on a Tuesday done for free. And sometimes you're going to have to spend that 30 gems to get that last reward. It's similar. That's how Bounty is with Tesla and stuff. Sometimes you can use Tesla the entire time and get it all the way done for, on Tier 4. Sometimes you got to stop on Sunday and use a full bounty team on Sunday to get it done. Sometimes you got to stop on Saturday at a certain point and maybe use like all your Val Ravens with full bounty on Saturday. And if you want to play it safe, I would stop, you know, use every sigil you got until Saturday morning and then switch to a full bounty team if you want to play it safe. But if you just do not want to worry about any of that stuff, you could buy up to tier five and just use Tesla the entire time. No sweat, no worry. And that's, I don't know if I'm going to do that. what i've been doing because i just feel like oh, i don't want to mess with it it's 300 gems to not have to worry and think about it you're gonna buy up to tier four no matter what no matter who you are most likely unless you're trying to uh, if you, i mean you might be able to buy up to tier three and um use a full bounty team the entire time 
It's just so slow and takes forever, and you're just saving like 200 gems doing that. You could take uh, ten, you could take 10 extra tributes and get those 200 gems. Just set a timer. But I've been there. I've done that. Like, I've been low on gems, and I've been trying to save as many gems as I can. But I think I'm going to buy up to tier 5 again, because I know 100% it works. And I've been kind of, like, keeping track. I, I forgot to write it down last time, but I, I've been... I'm going to start trying to keep track of, like, how many... How many battles over... Like, how many points... You know, how many battles did I have left, or... How many points did I need still at a certain point? Like, I'm going to keep track and see if I can figure out, like, how far you can go at tier 4. But, um, I'm going to do tier 5. Muhammad is here. Livewire. Ethley, Lee. Good to see you guys and gals. All right, let's go make this team. Here it is. It saves it for you and everything. That's what I'm saying. Do you really need a video for this? All you got to do is go bang. Here's my captain. Take it off the team. Boom. NTY. And we find our new captain, the caribou. We just plop it in. That would be the entire video right there. I would say, take this satir whatever off and put the caribou on. Bang. 15 second video. All right, we just got to use one orb, which is cool. That'd be, I guess, if you're still if you're still trying for Zulgoth and you're still trying for CT, um, you don't want to use as many orbs. Tier five, you only have to use one, so that's cool. I don't even care. Let's just do this. All right, so we fully leveled, fully everything here with the caribou. I think so. All right, so here's the team. Ogris, Tesla, Corpse Mare, Caribou. That's what I use. If you don't use Corpse Mare, whatever. That's fine. You could use Excavator. I think it makes red. That make red for Tesla. Um, I think Ogris is, is good enough to get her up, though. And, like, Corpse Mare can be there, too. If they happen to summon or do something weird, you can finish stuff off with Corpse Mare. Um, but, yeah, the Caribou... 12 yellow, purple, Magrim Woods, Beast, create 8 green gems, summon 0 to 3 more caribou. I've never seen anything that summons 0. It's kind of funny. Putting a chapter. It's probably like the 12 minute mark or so, I'm guessing now. But yeah, it creates eight green gems and then summons zero to three more caribou. So it could summon zero. Gain bonus green mana from green gem matches. I guess that'll help with your uh, ogress. Put it at the bottom. Don't cast it. What I got for my banner? I got a double blue brown. Is that going to work? Yeah, I think that's fine. You know, Tesla, get up Tesla or get up ogress. Yellow, minus yellow might not be the best, but I don't really want to switch anything, so I'm going to leave it. And then you put on guard medals. Let's run one battle here. Just lock it in. And we'll go put on our guard medals. We're not going to need them for the first battle anyway. Bang. So we're not getting the full amount of points, but we're getting enough with how far we bought in the shop. We're getting enough points to get all rewards. We're using Ogress, who's a bounty. Bounty Hunter. Corpse Mare, Bounty Hunter. And Caribou, the Bounty Hunter of the week that's going to get double points. The only one that's not a Bounty Hunter is Tesla. She's just there to kill stuff and get it done quickly. Switch to guard medals. Bounty. Fight. Let's go. So 
Or you could match blue or red, or you could try to get Ogress up. Depending on, like, let's look at Tesla. She's up. Just cast her win. I've been doing this for maybe nine months now, and it's been working, so... Everybody else is adopting it as well. I didn't invent this. It was a commenter in my chat, but I was the first one to show it on uh, YouTube. What's cool about that is it's uh, in... Uh, you could just go, like, you don't have to even believe me. You can just go look up the video and see that I put it out first. I was the first one using Tesla for bounty. Caribou puts out green. Would Queen Bee work good with it? Yeah, probably. That's what I say, like... Tesla's the best. Because it can go the furthest. It hits the hardest. You know, it uses blue and red, which Ogress does... Ogres uses green and brown, which is totally different, which is good. Then I'd say red macaco, just because it's true damage. It hits super hard. You can use a hero class. Like, that's, you know, that's what puts it above Queen Beatrix for me, is that you can then level a class with the red macaco. So that's why I put red macaco number two. And then Queen Beatrix number three just says, like, hey, most people have it. And it's a really good third option. It'll do the same thing that Tesla and red macaco are doing, just a little bit uh, i think tesla's a little bit better and, and red macaco can level a class but yeah queen beatrix is the same you're doing the same thing as i'm doing and hopefully the thing is like hopefully you do not have to cast the caribou so the fact that the caribou puts green on the board and so does queen beatrix you don't want it to get that far you're wanting to cast one shot win be done sometimes we can fall into the trap of thinking a little bit too far ahead where like it, the road is no longer there like the road is going this far we do not need a plan for after the road drops off a cliff like right there boom we're never gonna cast caribou maybe on level 20 with queen beatrix you might cast Caribou, you might... That's so far down the road. At the moment. Well, I had to cast her twice this time. It's fine. The times that that doesn't happen, it makes up for it. B.O.R. said this is the best bounty troop ever. Ha <laughs> ha! For real? B-O-R. That's funny. That's all you gotta say to get uh, uh, the smart ones. <laughs> Everything's the best thing ever, dude. This thing might as well not exist for me. Like, I don't... Why would you... Like... For a bounty troop to be the best troop ever. The best bounty troop is Ogress or Tigraki or something like that. Something we actually use outside of the bounty event. This caribou, I guarantee you'll never see it again after this weekend. And the game is forcing us to use it. If the game did not force us to use it, we would not even use it. How can that be the best anything? Unless there's some bug or something that I don't know about. Which even then, who cares? That's how you determine, like, is a bounty troop good or not? Will we use it outside of the bounty event ever? Or is it an okay bounty troop? Like, will we ever use it again inside the bounty? Then you can go there if you want to go a step down. Like the last one, the Satyr, whatever it was. Are we, you guys even remember what its name was? Like, it's never going to get used ever again. We just took it off the team. That's the last time we're ever going to see it. So let's go back to the last bounty and see what people were saying about that one. Let's go to the bounty before that and see what they were saying about the bounty troop before that. 
But all you gotta do, it's all on YouTube, it's all in... You can see it with your own eyes, you don't have to believe me. All you gotta do is go back to older videos and say, is this still true? That way, nobody can lie to you. They can lie to you in the moment, like right now, and like, you just gotta remember, okay, they lied to me, maybe I should not watch them anymore. That's all you gotta remember. Like, oh, was the Satyr whatever the best bounty troop ever? Well, how come we're not using it this week? What was the bounty troop before that? Oh, that one was the best one ever? Well, how come we're not using it this week? What, what, it's not even getting used in bounty and I haven't seen it since? That's weird. I'm a smart person. I'm gonna remember that, that somebody lied to me. Not that anybody's doing that, but that's just the way that YouTube is. People just, to get views, they say it's the best thing ever, every single time. And all you gotta do is remember that, and then see if it's actually true going forward. Will we ever see the caribou again after this weekend? I guarantee it, we will not. It cannot be the best bounty troop ever. Ogress is the best bounty troop, I think. She's useful outside of the bounty. Stacy's here! Tyrion says, clinging on to what is likely the last week at home before moving, losing everything, including my love and my family, but I'm here. Oh my god, Tyrion. Well, I, hope you, I hope it gets better, bro. I've been there, and, uh... You, will, you won't believe me right now, but it... You know, time heals all wounds, and, and it will get better. I've been there, bro, so... I was in an empty house sleeping on the floor on a mattress at, at a certain point. I lost it. Lost the house, lost everything. So I've been there, dude. I just talked to a dude the other day who was going through the same exact thing. And I felt terrible. He's almost like crying and stuff. Like, I've been there. Chip O'Neill is here. Livar said I was just being silly, Cindy. It's B O R ing. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I know. I'll take it and run with it, though. You know, I'll take it and run with it, dude. In the back of my head, I knew you were joking. Because there's no way anybody could ever call this the best troop ever. Summon 0 to 3. But you know, I'll take the ball and run with it. If you're going to, if you're going to, like, lob one up there for me, you know, I'm going to take it. I'm going to hit it out of the park. Take my shots. Oh, uh, keep your head up, Tyrion. All you can do is try. It only hurts for a minute, says Ruben. Mark says, life goes on, Tyrion. We have all been there. You have friends in the gym world. Dio is the best troop of all time. Yeah, you could think of the worst. I've been there. I've been there. And it's crazy how things turn out. You will never even believe. Oh, jeez. Already here. Like, I'm in hell week right now, y'all. Like, I feel bad for Tyrion and stuff. And I know my, my stuff isn't as bad as that. But we got a uh, spring break right now. Which I'm calling Hell Week. And never ever think I mean my own kids. Because I would, they're fine. They have good parents. You know what people around here would do? I was just thinking about this the other day. They would... They would drive to the park... And then play in the parking lot. Like they think the park means the parking lot. I guarantee it. If they could ever like if their brain would fire just enough to think like oh maybe we should go drive to the park. You know that's where we could play at the park. 
You know, it sucks around here. There's dog poop, like, everywhere. You can't play anywhere. There's nowhere good to play. This place sucks. So maybe getting your car and drive to the park. But I think they're so stupid that they would then drive to the park and play in the parking lot at the park. Because they're that dumb. They wouldn't even go into the grass or onto the play playground equipment. They wouldn't go to the track or to the uh, basketball court or the tennis court or to the, you know, the benches with the over, you know, the little place you can sit. They wouldn't sit by the lake and look at the ducks, no. They would play in the parking lot because they're so stupid. They would drive to the park and then play in the parking lot. They would think that's what park means. If they ever even get the idea to get in their car and drive to the park where there's no dog poop and where you're actually supposed to go to do things like they do. Which they probably won't. Like, I don't even think they have the gas money. Dude, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Ter yeah, that's the one thing, Tyrion. Like, I was younger when it happened, so. I don't know what I would do right now. I'd be effed. I'd probably, like, start working out, start going on the internet looking. <laughs> Try to make as much money as you can. Rekindle, get with the boys. Call up some of the boys, you know? I would have to, like... At this point, I'd probably have to call my brother. Because I don't hang out with anybody at the moment. And then eventually, like, figure it out from there. Like, start with hanging out with him. And he's got kids, and he's, like, older, too, now, so... That's what that was like the back in the day strat. I don't know what I would do now. Yeah, I'll definitely try to get some sleep, Mark. I've I've done it. This is my fifteenth. So I know I gotta, cause I gotta get up early. So I know that I need to go to bed early, to get up early, and hopefully I can get sleep the entire time. We'll see. If it. it, it if it's, like, worst case scenario, I'll start it a little bit later, like 5.30 or 6, but I'm shooting for 5. But we're into the 20s right now, the 20 battles. I'll talk about it a little bit more after this, but, um, if you're a low-level player... Uh-oh. No, it's nobody. If you're a low-level player just trying to get what you can get done, you do not have to go all the way to 20. You might not get all rewards if you don't, if you don't go to 20. But if you're just trying to do what you can do, and 20 is too hard, you can stop at like 15 or something. It's kind of like the dungeon. You can go all the way down to 20, and that should be your goal, eventually, to get all the way down to 20. But if you're like going, if you're on like 15, 16, 17, you're losing, dying, and you can't, just can't win, like, maybe go back up to 15 or something. Like, It's better to get the thing done than to just die and lose and never get it done. But your ultimate goal should definitely be to the highest level, the hardest, the most rewards. Uh, Tyrion says, 27 years, off and on, again, off again, it just sucks. I have a friend who will put me up for a while. I work from home, so as long as I have a roof, electricity, and internet, I have a job, so I can try to restart, but I'm too old for this. I feel ya. It's probably the worst part, huh? Just like... You know, if it was 10 years ago, it would still suck. Can't believe it, dude. I, I hate to hear that for you. Sometimes crap just happens all of a sudden, too. Or, I don't know. Sometimes you feel it coming for... Sometimes those stuff just happens all of a sudden.
Uh, Ruben says on a lighter note, I live half an hour from the Fran Fran Key Scott Bridge that collapsed in Baltimore. Wow, dude. You think it was rigged? I saw that, like, right after... Well, I didn't see it as it happened, because it happened at, like, 1 in the morning or something, or 2 in the morning. But as soon as I woke up, I saw that. I was like, whoa. Giant container ship, like, hit a pylon pillar of this big bridge, and, like, the whole bridge collapsed. Collapsed. It was crazy. I can't believe it, like, collapsed like that. Like, the whole thing. The, this, the container ship was gigantic, though. I heard that they, uh, like, said, you know, mayday, mayday. Like, they told some people. They could have, like, cleared that bridge off. I haven't watched anything since, so I don't know. I don't have, like, the latest news on it. The bridge. Terrence says, I've been here, done this. It was just supposed to be different this time. Kids are helping me move. I have adult children now. Well, that's great, hey? That's somebody to, that can help you a little bit. Not the best, but... Mark says, I did learn something. I thought you only had to use the one bounty troop you bought. Thanks for putting on more than one bounty troop. Yeah, you want to use as many bounty troops as you can. Like, we used to use four. Just to get the max points. But it's so slow. It's so slow. And we figured out that you can use one that is not the bounty troop. Like a Tesla. Make sure it's something that you just... Wipe them out in one or two shots. You need, because otherwise it's just a, a waste. You don't want to put like the wand there, and then you're just getting up like one shot crappy bounty troops. It's got to be something like Tesla or Red Macaque or Queen Beatrix, something that can one or two shot, or it's not worth doing. Once you get to twenty, you want to definitely take Red or Blue, get up Tesla, cast Tesla, then cast Ogres to get up Tesla cast Tesla again. Uh, now we're on 20 now. We're not expecting it to be super fast, but just think of the alternative. Like I always say, it's going to be Ogres, Tigraki, Corpse Mare, Ogres, Tigraki, Corpse Mare, Ogres, Tigraki, Corpse Mare, Ogres, Tigraki, Corpse Mare, Battle Over. Like, that takes forever. I've been there. I did that for years. I know exactly how it goes. On 20, like, Tigraki cannot one-shot. So you end up having to do Corpse Mare and Tigraki for, like, every single enemy. And then you gotta cast Ogresses in between. So we're, like, comparing this versus that. This, yes, it takes two shots. And maybe you gotta cast Ogres a couple times. Maybe you gotta match some gems. But the alternative is casting, like, Ogres, Corpse Mare, and Tigraki, like, all four times masked bishop is here collapse like dominoes i know you think like it would just knock out the one and then like the bridge would like kind of like fall a little yeah i might have to get on here earlier y'all i think i gotta really shoot for 10 going forward I didn't think they'd be so thirsty to get out there and roll on dog poop already. <clears throat> it reminded you of 9-11, uh, how it looked? Strategic? You're the first one I've heard say it was like a conspiracy, but I don't, I don't not... I wouldn't argue with that. Cause it was kind of weird looking. Oh, uh, we need red or blue. If we don't have red or blue, then we're gonna take green or brown. We we'll still want to take red or blue though, if possible. Oh, uh, this is annoying. See, now we're like in a situation where what do we do? I'm just gonna cast this. It's stupid, but maybe should get back up. It's whatever. I'm 
Come on, Tesla. There we go. Oh, Ruben says, not a conspiracy theorist, but I'm loading the rifle and stacking up my canteen, especially with the... <laughs> yeah, maybe they're trying to cut you off. That's what starts to happen. You saw in Ukraine, they started, like, getting rid of some bridges. I hope not, though. That would suck. I doubt anybody would have the balls to come here. Because then they're going to get smoked. Rain Man's here. Good morning. Doing some bounty, I'll probably just do a couple more battles, and then, um, we'll do some deep journey, because I've been trying. Uh, for the chat-a-thon tomorrow, by the way, I have epic vault keys we can open. So I got, like, 30. We'll open all 30 epic vault keys. I got 300 regular vault keys we can open. Uh, we'll do everything else, of course. We got bounty, we got journey event, we can do PvP, we got under spire. If you guys need the epic trials, we can do that. If you want to make me do treasure hunt. If, we, if you want to do arena, like, there's so many things, like, explore, underworld, we could do so many things. Like, that's why I wanted to do it this weekend and not last weekend. Because last weekend, it's like, you got to do the vault or you're doing it wrong. And we would just be doing the vault the entire time. Which usually works for a chat -a because, you know, you're doing the vault, I'm doing the vault, we do it together. But I just feel like, if it's not a vault event, we can do, like, ten different things. And we can kind of, like, okay, we're doing this for this, we're doing this for this amount of time, this for this amount of time. Uh, what is a good score for the bounty? You just want to get all rewards, pretty much. Like, I'd say by the end of today, you should be, what, like, 15, 16 rewards, somewhere around there? Maybe not. I can't remember. But 4,800 is what you're shooting for, for each battle, at least. This has good rewards, especially if you're still going for Zulgoth and CT. You get a lot of orbs from the bounty event. So you should be excited if you're still trying for Zulgoth and CT. So let's check it out. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm already on 16. Look at that. So it's Friday. It's Friday, and I still have 14 sigils. And I'm already on... I already got 16 done. And, like, I'm almost done with 17. And there's only 20. So we're definitely making it. And if you look, you get a major orb of chaos, another major orb of chaos, orb of chaos, vault key, gems and diamonds, orb of chaos, gems and diamonds, gem keys, orb of chaos, gems, gems. Yeah, like it's a good, it's a good event to do to full completion. You got to think of the rewards before you open them, not after, because you could get all green orbs, and then you can't say, well, that wasn't worth it, because you had potential. You could have got orbs you needed. But anyway, here's here's the team code. Somebody asked me about team codes again. It's a PlayStation problem. Like, you're going to have to take a screenshot or you're just going to have to remember the team. Or Like, I can't take that. I cannot copy this and, like, shoot it through the air and space into my laptop and then put it on the video. Like, everything about the YouTube video and the YouTube stream is on my laptop. And everything about Gems of War and the game and the team code is on my PlayStation. There's not really a way for me to copy that and paste it from there to here. Especially, like, right now. There's no, like, I would have to shut the game down. If there was a way, like, to copy that on my PlayStation and then go to my YouTube channel on my PlayStation and take that code and paste it. I would have to take the stream down, first of all. Because you can't, like, once I once I get out of the game, the stream ends. Because that's how PlayStation streaming works. So it's just not even possible. And I, I don't look at my YouTube channel on YouTube anyway. Like, I don't do anything in the YouTube studio on my PlayStation. It's all on my laptop. So it's pretty much like I can't take this 
this team code, copy it on my PlayStation controller, and then somehow paste it with my mouse on my laptop. Like, it just doesn't work. Other people, like Tacit, are playing on their computer with... They're playing Gems of War on their computer. So they can copy that number, because they're on their computer, and then their YouTube is also on their computer. So they can take that copied team code and paste it over, because everything's on their computer. I'm, I'm playing on PlayStation, streaming on PlayStation. I'm on YouTube and my studio and all that's on my computer. So there's like... I'm sure there's a way. If there's, there's probably some way. It's just not easy, and I haven't figured it out. So I'm sorry. I used to just remember, like, okay, Ogres, Tesla, Corpse, Mare, Caribou. You don't need the class. The banner is double blue, brown, minus yellow. It's not that big of a deal. Even if you can't, just paste it in. You still, you should be able to do it pretty quickly, without pasting. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. I've manually... I used to manually... I would have to sit here and, like, type it in manually. Like, 6, 9, 7, 3, comma. 6, 3, 2, 0, comma. Like, I would have to... I used to do that, but it just didn't... I didn't feel like it was helping anything, so... All right, let's do some deep journey. I'm probably only going to stream for a little bit today. There is no train business, and the chatathon is tomorrow, so I'm not, like, mad at it. So, we're just going to get devoured today by zombies. That happens sometimes. Uh, okay, guild. We need to go Nisha. Guild. Journey. Fight. Pick the higher miles. Let's see where we're at. Stage 14. So this is the most important, getting stage 12. You want those two books of magic deeds. So hopefully your guild at least gets to stage 12. So I'm happy. Anything above stage 12 is just like icing on the cake for me. Let's see where we are. 20. You know, I need to do a little bit more, but that's like sufficient they're asking everybody to get like 6300 so i'm almost there if you look sometimes your guild will put a little blurb it says uh journey score requirement is 6383 from each guildy i'm at 6120 i'm probably gonna make it in like the next two or three battles if you want to remember like 30 miles right we should get 90 miles from this battle if we don't get 90 miles, something went wrong. We, we lost a troop or we took too long or something like that. So I want to show you that I'm getting the full miles. All right, I'm doing Doomed Bulge, the Cartographer, Shabana Vespera, Moon Rabbit. It's the team I'm using. And put a chapter in. Forty-three thirty. All right, let me show you this team. Sometimes it takes a second. When we're getting we're getting deep. But yeah, Ruben, as long as you're getting like 4,800 a battle, you should be fine. And you saw where I was. I'm on like reward 16 already. All right, look for the moon rabbit, which would be blue to yellow. I don't have it, so I'm looking for like maybe purple or yellow now. Be yellow here. Some purple. We got both of them. So what you want to do is look at the enemy team and see how many purple enemies there are. There's only one. So I think I'm better off casting the Cartographer than the Doomed Vulch. But once we get this first enemy down a little bit, we might cast the Vulch to finish it off so we can hit two enemies. Or like right now, we don't have the Cartographer, so we cast the Vulch. Once again, don't have it, cast it. Okay, we're going to finish off the first one. So we're going to want to hit two enemies here. We don't want to overkill the first enemy, so... A lot of people, like, play in front of my house. I'm turning into, like, a grumpy old man. There's a giant rock. What is that? <coughs> I 
So I look at the enemy team, see how many purple enemies there are, and that'll determine whether I'm going to cast the Volge more or the Cartographer more. This enemy has 63, so I'm going to cast this. Sometimes I'll sit there and cast Shibanu. A couple times on the Volge, because it's pure purple. Yo, Chad, thanks for the two, man, running out there. Getting it, getting at least something happening. Appreciate it. I got 90 miles. All right, we got 75. This one will be hard. Maybe I'll show you the Shibanu. Yeah, I know, dude. I never, like, when I was younger, I was like, I'll never be like that. And I'm starting to turn into that, get off my lawn. Uh, all right, how many purple enemies? We got three, so the Volge will do well. Don't have it right now. Cast it. The Volge will do well. We still got three. Okay, now we only have two, but that's still fine. So you kind of like, you. there's not the same strategy for every fight. Kind of depends, like, how many purple enemies there are. It's all good, uh, Tyrion. <clears throat> We're trying to help you out, man. Make you feel better. I'm always a downer, like... You know. I can't be a hypocrite. I'm more of a downer than a upper. My name is Cinecool. Alright, so we do not have the Moon Rabbit. How many purple enemies? We got two, that's okay. Like, if I only have one purple or zero purple, I'm gonna cast the Cartographer more. If I have two, three, four purple, I'm gonna cast the Volge more. Let's get rid of that. And if you want to, you could sit here and do this. I don't like it because it's kind of like a waste of time. Really, like, build up some stats. Because you don't want to waste too much time or, or you'll lose score. Still got two. And if there's one enemy left, it's Cartographer. What up, Brian? Alright, 35. Got yellow and purple. We have no purple enemies, so I'm gonna go, like, all in on the cartographer. Maybe should be hitting the, uh, Val Raven. Actually, well, we don't have it now, so we have to do this. Now we have nothing, so I guess skulls. Cartographer. I'm using Arch Magus class to make myself a mystic, that way my whole team is mystic. This is not as good as like a Chalcedony, a Seeker, a Todd used to be, but it's not horrible. Oops. Oh well. Same result. 3 a.m. for you? Yeah, it's like that for some people. It's also like 10 a.m. for some people. But yeah, you're on the you're on the bad side of it, huh? Alright, we got 40 miles. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be done at the hour mark, y'all. I hate to do it, but we got a chat. We got a long one tomorrow, so. I'm going to start as early as I can tomorrow so we can do a good at least six hours. I'm hoping for eight, but I just want to get back. Got this. How many purple enemies? Just one. 
Another thing you can do is like keep as many purple enemies for as long as you can sometimes. Like if there's three purple enemies, don't kill like kill the one that's not purple first if possible. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I should have cast bulge there because it barely had any HP. See how it says 63? This is a good time to cast the bulge because we're gonna, if we cast the cartographer, we're going to overkill that King Salinas. So we might as well hit multiple enemies. Same right here. 47. Let's get some damage onto that Tezka or whatever her name is. Then when there's one enemy left, it's Cartographer. Hell yeah, Tyrion. I feel you. That's awesome, bro. I mean, I mean, just don't put yourself out. If you need the money, man. I've been, I've been, I'm completely honest with y'all. We did great in March. I'm just trying to, like, cap it and stamp it and make sure. Because I want to make sure we have April and May. If March is good, April, May, we got on lock. Because if we, even if we have like a bad April, which I hope we don't, I'll, I would at least try May. The thing is, like, if we have two back-to-back -back bad months, that's when it's like in danger of me not continuing. Uh. But I also don't want it to be like good month, bad month, good month, bad month, good month, bad month. That's like happens for a while. That might be bad too. Something a little bit better than good month, bad month. It would keep us going. Uh, let's kill this Val Raven. We only got one purple enemy. Fifty-three. Good time to cast the Vulge. Let's get some. Uh, let's not overkill. Spread it out. There's some men maxing. You don't have to, like, you know. Vulge it. It's because there was no cartographer. I keep doing barrier. Might be a Shabanu. Ah, she did the wrong colors. It's fine, though. Single enemy, single target. Cartographer. Bang. Uh, so if we request a team on Chatathon, will you make it for a donation? Yeah, sure, man. All right, let's do this last battle. And then we'll say goodbye. You guys ask any questions you got. Uh, it's a 75 mile battle. So that's good. Be a hard one. But put any questions you have in the chat. Chatathon is tomorrow morning. We're going to do a super long live stream. Bare minimum. I feel like longer than we usually do. Like longer than an after dark. It's got to be or else it's a failure. I hope to see you there. Remember, 5 a.m. it starts. The first hour is free. That gives you time to build up time. It's $5 for every 15 minutes after that first hour. I mean, you can build up time in that first hour, though. You can build up time in the waiting room. You could you could send me a message later today and say, hey, this is for the chat-a-thon. Like, that's, like, there's super thanks and stuff like that. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, if you can't make it tomorrow, there's ways around that that I will still count the time. If you really wanted to. Nobody does that, except for, I think, Glorfindel one time. But I'm not even going to, like, say it other than now. But, yeah, if you wanted to, you could do a super thanks later tonight and say, I can't be there tomorrow, but this is towards the chat-a-thon. I would count it. But, yeah, it's it's $5 for every 15 minutes after that first hour. It's basically it, you know. $10 for 30 $20 for an hour. 
And we've done it 14 other times, and it's been successful every single time. It went all the way as far as we wanted it to go each time. The last two times I lost my voice, though, so that's going to be interesting to see if I can not lose my voice three times in a row. Uh, but yeah, I think our record's like nine hours, but I'm not even trying for the record tomorrow, but we'll see. It's the cool thing about the chatathon, you never know what's going to happen. It could, sometimes the PlayStation burns up and we've had that happen before. We've had to start the stream three different times. I lose my voice sometimes. I go crazy, rant and rave sometimes. Like, you never know who's going to be there. It can get down to the wire sometimes where we don't have any time on the clock and there's only like 10 minutes left and it's about to end and then somebody comes in and donates like it's, it's fun it's kind of like, i got it from you know where twitch like a hype got a subathon or a a hype train like i do i do these it's for youtube so i try not to say like hype train or subathon i like make it my own thing it's the chatathon and the train the poop train That's where I, it's inspired from. People do it all the time over there. Mm -mm. Alright, 75 miles? Let's see. It's a good, uh, Volger. Still good, Volger. <clears throat> you know, my uh, voice is, like, a little bit better today. It's still not 100%. I gotta, I gotta really like look after it today for sure. I gotta do some things proactively. I'm gonna go get the humidifier, maybe get some of those Hall's Breezer things, like get a good night's sleep, drink a bunch of water today, because it really counts like the day before. You can't just drink water while your throat's hurting. Like I could not, it wouldn't help if it was like two hours into the chatathon and then I start drinking water. Like they'll say that to you all the time. If you go on the internet and look up like how to get rid of like a sore throat or whatever like where the answer is to drink a bunch of water you have to do it like 24 hours beforehand or it's not gonna help or like 12 hours beforehand because like water doesn't go right onto your vocal cords i'm pretty sure like it's more of like saturating your body with with fluid and enough water to where it makes it there but it's never touching your vocal like when you take a sip of water it's not like touching your vocal cords you know what i'm saying it's like you have to get enough water into your body to where it moistens your your vocal cords over time so you can't just say like oh just drink water like that doesn't work unless you do it like 12 hours beforehand i mean it helps a little bit if you have like a little bit of crap in your throat but anyway i think i'm done for today you use halls daily i gotta think ahead man i'm gonna start thinking about it right after i get off this stream i've been like kind of like throughout the week but today's the day. I really got to think ahead today for tomorrow. Uh, Ruben says, Tyrion, just buckle down and focus on your goal. Get it done. Promise it will get better. Yeah, time heals all wounds. Like Dr. Mop was even saying to me, because I've been complaining a lot about where I live and stuff. She's like, you know, everything gets better with time and it, nothing lasts forever. You know what I mean? Uh, where do you get the Doom Vulge from? Yeah, it was an old event. It was a t purple Tower of Doom event. It was like two, three, I think two. Two Tower of Dooms ago. So it was pretty recently. They're get <clears throat> Make sure you get these Tower of Doom weapons because they've been putting out some good ones. The Doomed uh, Vulge and the Doomed... Uh, it was like Spade or something. The brown one, they got like a purple and a brown. They're going to go through all the colors. So if you see Tower of Doom, you need that Tower of... Anyway, like for the event, you have to use the weapon. So it's kind of... If you did that event, you probably have the weapon. Because otherwise, you're just not getting the max points. But yeah, it was from a, a purple Tower of Doom event like... Three weeks ago, something? Not three weeks. Three months? I can't remember. I think about three months ago. Maybe a little less. Brian says, yeah, wifey said no subscription this year. Got rid of streaming platforms. We are saving up $200 a month now. Lost track of how many things we had running. Sadly, it includes YouTube. Hey, no problem, Brian. Just come to the streams, hit like. You know how it goes. People can help for free. A whole bunch of people are doing all the free stuff. That helps just as much. 
Noonday Shadow. Morning, morning. Yeah, the se uh, not the last one, but the one before that. Because we got like the Doom Spade last time, I think. Doomed weapons are great, especially recently. The very first set they put out was great, and the most recent set they put out is great. Everything in between was kind of oh, not good. I called them Doomed Plungers and Doomed Silly String and all that. You know, the Doomed books were good for defense. But like the Doomed Glaive, the Doomed Club, the Doomed Crossbow, the Doomed Scythe, those were great. And I think they were like some of the first Doomed weapons they put out. Then we went on like this long stretch of Doomed Silly String and Doomed Plungers and stuff like that that sucked. They put the books out in there somewhere in the middle, which were okay for defense, but you never see anybody using them on offense. And now they're putting out another set of good ones. The the Doomed Volge and the Doomed Spade, and they're kind of loopy. Uh, Tyrion says, my goal is her and our two younger children, but for now it's just unattainable. Yeah, I feel like the worst is always the kids. Well, for me, like if your kids are older, dude... The worst thing for me was my kid because when it happened to me, my kid was like four. So that was like the worst thing. Like it was bad, like just not, you know, I know it, I know what, how it feels like to not be with the person because it makes you feel a type of way, which you shouldn't, but it does make you feel a type of way. But the worst for me was like the kid not knowing, like I was, he was four and I was in his, he was, I was, he was there every single day, and like I could protect him every single day, and I could look, I could go look at him every five minutes if I wanted to. And then once that happened, and he was just gone, and I couldn't, that was what drove me crazy. Like I don't know where my kid is. I can't just like go look at him every five minutes if I want to. He's not being protected by me, so who's he being protected? Like he was four. Like, that was the one of the worst things. That was, like, half of the battle for me was, like, not knowing where my kid was. or You know, eventually I knew where he was, but just not being able to be a dad. But I feel you, Tyrion, man. I hope it gets better for you. Time heals all wounds. You'll be surprised. Like, you'll think something is totally just never going to happen, and it can it can happen. So, like, I've been there. So, just, like, focus on getting money, maybe, like, working out or something. I don't know. It's the best things you could do, probably. Like, um, the worst thing you can do is, like, call her up every five minutes and go to her house and chase her down and, like, be all needy and stuff. Kind of gotta, like, be like, you don't need her. You're gonna work on yourself. You know, check in with the kids as much as you want. Yeah. As far as the woman goes like they probably it's better if you like don't even really talk to them unless you have to like maybe once a week or something in my opinion i'm not like a relationship advice dude but the thing they don't the thing that's gonna like be the like you don't want to like be calling them every five minutes and like oh you know it's like a turn off and doesn't work maybe like once a week say hey what's up blah 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 how's it going for you yada yada Yeah, Tyrion, it I wonder if it, like, the first time's always the worst, so you already kind of know how it goes. I know that doesn't make it any better. Like, when my, my puppy died, like, I said no more puppies, but if I had another, like, if, if when Harvey goes, it's going to hurt just as bad. It's not like just because something happens, it makes it better the next time, like, but it's like you kind of know how it's going to feel, and like, so, I don't know. But yeah, I'm sending good vibes your way, Tyrion, man. I hope you everything gets better. Just, just hang in there. That's all I can say. I feel like if I could go back and tell myself anything, it would be like... You know, it's not going to be like this forever. You know, like... You know, work on yourself. Like, get make yourself the best person you can be. Like, you need the best Tyrion you can be, and then, like... Everything will get better no matter what, so... That's what I would tell myself. I could go back in time, like, hey, dude, just be the best you you can be, and, like, time will heal all wounds, and, like, it's not gonna be like this forever. Just be the best you you can be from now on. I don't know. 
All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tear good about the channel. Comment below. Chat-a-thon tomorrow, 5 a.m. EST. It's going to be rants and rants and rants and trivia and make me do stuff. I'll see you there. Thanks for joining me today, Chad, The Clip Bomb, Ruben, Tyrion, Shark, Brian Walker, Yoke the Ham, Mark Nugent, Noonday Shadow. We got Yoke, we got Mark, we got Tyrion, we got Chad, we got Livewire, Ruben, Chad with the two, making sure, like, something happens. Right? He runs out there, he checks on it. We weren't able to start it or anything, but at least we know it's there and it still exists. Ruben, Livewire, Rain Man, Masked Bishop. Stacy was here. Chip O'Neill. F. Lee, Mark. Mohammed Salman was here today. Al was here early. Mark was here early. Ruben was here early. Special shout out to Chad, who is a legend. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to save myself for then, or else, I, you know how it goes. I'd normally do at least another 30 minutes, but I'm going to save myself for tomorrow. I'm just checking in, get you the bounty team, show you some deeper journeys. Hopefully that helps you out. Any other questions you have, we got all day, all morning tomorrow, so I'll see you there. Have a great one. You're the best. Peace out. Keep your head up, Tyrion.